So in this tutorial, I'm going to explain how you can set up Allegro on your own, own home computers. So the first thing you need to do is uh, go on to the course website. So either DT228 or DT211 programming and go down to the link section of the website and you'll see a link there for Allegro binary release for Visual Studio 2010. So if you click on that and uh, save the link onto your C drive somewhere, it actually saves as a zip file. So you click, uh, I'm going to click cancel because I've already saved that. And then you navigate to where you saved it to. Then you find the zip file. So there's the file that I just saved. And then if you double click on that in Windows Explorer, you'll see that there's actually a folder inside that zip file. So what I usually recommend is that you actually unzip that file onto the root of your C drive. So what you do is just navigate to your C drive, open that up there and drag and dra drop that folder onto your C drive and it will unzip there. So that takes a couple of minutes to unzip and I've actually already unzipped that and here it is on my C drive. So if I open up this folder here I will see that there's three other folders in here. There's bin, include and lib. So what I'm going to do now is start Visual Studio 2010 and I'm going to close down all of these windows here. Okay so basically what I'm going to do is create a new empty project. So click new project, empty project, give it a name. And I'm just going to call this delete me Allegro 1. Click on OK. So there's two different ways of entering these settings. You can do these settings on a project by project basis, which is what you have to do in the lab computers, right? So on the lab computers, you usually open your project up like this and then select the project, go down to properties. And you'll see that there's an entry here for VC++ directories and linker. And this is what you, you need to set up, right? Um, what I'm going to show you is how you can set it up um, for, so that it applies to every project. And this won't work on the lab computers in Kevin Street or Angel Street, but it will work on your home computers where you've unzipped that uh, file. So what you do on your home computer is go up to View and go to uh, Property Manager. So it opens up the Property Manager here window in Visual Studio. So expand your project and then expand debug slash win32 and you see microsoft.cpp.win32.user so select that right click on it and go into the properties for that so in here there are a number of uh, settings that you need to make first of all expand if this isn't already expanded common properties and go down to vc++ directories so here in include directories uh, click on that thing there click on edit and I'm going to zoom in here. What you can basically do is just start typing and Visual Studio will do code completion for you. So C colon slash Allegro slash include. And this is where the Allegro header files are located. So then click on OK there. Then go into library directories. And click on edit. Click the new icon there and then C colon slash Allegro slash lib and then click on OK so you got include set up in the include directories you got lib set up in the library directories the third setting that you need to make is if you go expand linker and choose input and this is already set here but typically what you would do here is click edit and what you want to do is put in the name of the Allegro lib file so what I usually do here is navigate back to the folder you know, C Allegro lib, and then it's usually the first file here, Allegro 442-md-lib. Hit F2 in Windows, which means rename the file, and then select the whole file, press Control c to copy the file name, go back into Visual Studio and press Control v to paste that file name in there. Click on OK, click on OK. So now what I can do is actually close down that property manager, go to the source files, click on add new item, Choose a C++ file, give it a name and click on add. And to start editing the C++ file, you know, start putting in include. And now when I start typing A-L-L-E-G, uh, there's Allegro.h, so Visual Studio will do the code completion because it will search those paths that I previously set up to, to search for header files. If I hadn't set up those header file directories correctly, then I would get an error there. I would, I would get this hash include sort of red underline thing going on. 
So then we can do void main. Now, at this point, I'm going to press Shift, Control, and B, which is to save the project and build it, and I'm going to get an error. And the error you get here is fatal error, entry point must be defined. So how you fix this error is you put in the macro end of main. And all Allegro programs have that as the last line of code. So now my project is going to build. So Shift, Control, and B to build. But when I try and run the project, you're going to get this error here. And we're getting this error here because we haven't set the Allegro bin folder as part of the Windows system path. So the path on Windows is where Windows looks for stuff like .exe files and .dll files. And this is actually a setting you need to make in Windows as opposed to Visual Studio. So to make this change, you go start on your start menu and type in path. And then choose edit the system environment variables. Click the environment variables button and then type in path and click on edit and go to the end of that line and press a semicolon and what you want to do here is put the location of the Allegro bin folder. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did for lib. I'm going to actually navigate to the bin folder just so they make a don't make a mistake and mistype it and I'm going to select that folder there. So I've just got up to the address bar, highlighted everything, see Allegro 44 blah 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 slash bin. Go back into path there's the semicolon at the end there, and then I just control V to paste, click on OK. And then you click on OK, click on OK. Now in Visual Studio, when I try and run the program, we get the same error. And this is because Visual Studio actually loads up that path environment variable, and every program loads up that path environment variable when the program starts. So to fix that, close down Visual Studio and restart it. So now when you restart Visual Studio, go into Recent Projects and Solutions, and there's the project I previously created. And this time when I press F5, the program compiles and runs successfully. Don't worry about these other messages down here, they're actually not significant. So just to make this program do something interesting, I'm actually going to create a new uh, instance of Visual Studio, and I'm going to open a previous project that I created. And I'm going to just control A to select all the code, control C to copy. Then I'm going to bring this code in here. This is my previous Allegro program. Control A to select all, delete it, control V to paste. And now when I hit F5, hopefully we get uh, some Allegro drawing code happening. And here's the Allegro drawing code. So just to have, let's have a quick look at this code, you know. Uh, there's my Allegro.h. There's the Allegro init. Oops. Windows key plus. There's the Allegro init, which just initializes Allegro. Uh, setting the graphics mode, windowed 640 by 480 resolution, creating the back buffer, and then got some code here to draw all the various different lines. And then you get into what we call a game loop, right? So basically, while not done, if the escape key is pressed, we set done to be true and break. Otherwise, split the back buffer onto the screen. And that's the Allegro code to do that. So that concludes this uh, tutorial on how to set up Allegro with uh, Visual Studio.